Morning everybody, uh, we're gonna do something a little bit different today. Instead of car videos or whatever, uh, fishing videos, we're gonna kick some chicken breast, eat these uh, as a meal prep probably five out of the seven days a week. Uh, just chicken and rice, I know it's boring, but healthy for you, trying to get trying to get slim. Um, so yeah, uh, Garen, if you're watching this, this is for you, because you told me to make some cooking videos, because basically all we did down here was come over and grill and then go to the pool and go to the bar but all right so let's get started so went to the store bought some chicken breast just kind of normal chicken breast i like to go to heb and get some um this one's i mean it's pretty cheap that's one of, one of the other reasons why i pick chicken breast to eat it's cheap and it's easy and you can reheat it pretty easy so i got about five pounds of chicken breast right here and we're gonna cook it in about two hours, so we'll let it sit for two hours after we uh, marinate it. So, all right. So these are the three main ingredients: uh, just the tones, Cajun seasoning. Get that at Sam's Club for pretty cheap. It's just a huge bottle. That's why I use on a lot of stuff. It tastes real good. It's not too salty. Uh, I don't normally use Lowry's on some other things, and that that's just a little too salty for me. Then you got canola oil and some salt because on this one we need a little bit more salt. But first step, you're going to take these out. And everybody says rinse them off. Um, if you're cooking it right, you're not you're not going to need to rinse it off. But throw them all into here. And you just want to take some canola oil. <coughs> And just uh, kind of spread it all in there. You just want to get a even coating on all of them. So you're gonna want to do that to all of them. Throw it in there. Again, you don't need too much. You don't need too much. Um, oil on there just enough to kind of coat all of them a little even layer so I'm gonna do that so all these are pretty evenly coated um, you're gonna want to take some salt just salt them a little bit Not too much, just enough to, <clears throat> I don't know, probably two teaspoons. Just kind of rub it around in there. All right, next step, you want to put that Cajun seasoning on there. I'm pretty generous with this. I like mine spicy. So I put a quite a bit, coat them pretty good. Flip those. Again, coat them good. Alright, so some of these are kind of big, so I kind of want to chop them in half. Kind of make them all the same size. Kind of want them all that size. I like that. It says kind of perfect, and the, the coating on that's pretty good. Alright, so now that all these are the same size, we're going to throw it in the refrigerator for uh, two hours and then um, cook them after that on the trigger. So that's kind of the perfect size you want to you wanna have, a good, good handful and kind of even coating it all the way around. So we'll see you in two hours. Alright, 
let's start this on smoke and lift this open. Leave it open for about five minutes and we be, should be good to go. Make sure that's full. These are the pellets I use. Just the Pit Boss uh, wooden pellets is a competition blend of hickory, maple, and apple. I think that it's been working pretty good and uh, puts out some good smoke, good flavor. I also got a hickory back here, but I haven't really used that besides on like pork. But this is a good all around blend. It's pretty uh, cheap. So I've been using. All right, it's been about five minutes. It's up to 110 degrees. All right, close this. Crank that up to all the way 450. And we'll wait till it gets about up to 350. Put them on. All right, so I'm not talking here because out there is kind of loud. But uh, yeah, I'll let these sit out, get them to room temperature, and then um, we're gonna put them on and grill hit 350. And let's go. I also put a thermometer in there just to just to check and see like what the actual thermometer is doing, if this this trigger one's right or not. And it's too high. I don't know. We'll never know. So we'll take that out. Stick this in the uh, thickest one, right in the middle. All right, and we'll uh, check back on it in like 15 minutes. So I'm gonna take you a little bit into my uh, meal prep. So basically, this is like a dollar at HEB, uh, anywhere really a bigger bag of long grain brown rice. So uh, it takes a little bit longer, but it's a lot cheaper than instant rice and I feel like it's better for you. So we got this bowl in, we'll throw, throw that rice in. And that should last me about all week. And then we're gonna throw it down to simmer. And I'll put in like a chicken breast and a uh, some rice and then that'll be my dinner for tonight. All right, it's been 15 minutes. We're up to 140 degrees. And for the barbecue sauce, I'm gonna use some Kinsey Masterpiece. I put a little water in there to make it a little more runny. And really, I'm just going to pour it on the plate so I can brush it on. Uh, that should be good. Alright, let's go brush it on. So it's been about five to eight minutes after, I think it's been eight minutes after we flipped them first. So we're gonna crank this all the way down. I like to just let them sit there. It's like 159 right now, that bigger one. So should be good. I'll just let them sit in there until I get to like 170 and should be good to take them off. All right, my rice is done. Let's see. Good. And it's 350. Well, it was 350, 351 now. They're on there for 25 minutes, and they should be good to good to go. Let's get them. 172.
position, but it's still running because it's got burn off that extra fuel. So that's kind of how much we used. Barely any, maybe like a handful, maybe two handfuls. Yeah, I'd say a handful. So not very much for 25 minutes of cooking, high heat. Let's go. So I'm gonna let these sit for about five five minutes before I cut into them. There's so many juices still on there. So you can see there's so many juices still on there. It looks pretty good. Oh, it's fogging up. So yeah, that's uh, how you cook some just normal chicken. Uh, a little Cajun, a little kick to it, some barbecue pretty good so if you ever want to know how to cook some stuff on the trigger uh, please subscribe and I'll keep on doing some trigger cooking videos if you have any other questions just put them in the comments and I'll answer them thank you guys oh, I got a little too carried away I uh, already started eating but I forgot to show you guys what it looked like inside so um, let's cut into it Pretty juicy. Um, I don't know, it looks pretty good right there. Not dry at all. Delicious. Cuts really easy. Looks good. Tastes good. Thank y'all.